I know there's tons of videos for the best shrimp scampi pasta recipe. I've watched a lot of them. But the difference with this version is that we're going to grill the shrimp to give it an extra punch of crispy charred flavor that only grilling can deliver. And while we're at it, I'm going to throw some fresh springtime fat asparagus on the grill too, so we can sneak in another healthy low-carb veggie to the dish and make it a one-pan meal that works just as well for a quick weeknight solution as it does for a casual weekend dinner party. Hola, I'm Caroline, and my channel is all about helping you learn to eat the Mediterranean way every day. And sometimes that means showing you how to add flavor without calories, like creating charred crispy edges to your shrimp and adding veggies to a classic dish to make it easy to get in your five every day. And I'm using whole grain pasta as the fiber-packed healthy base for the dish. So let's fire up the grill, or in today's case, my favorite stovetop grill pan, and get started. Mince two shallots and two tablespoons of garlic. Zest and juice one to two lemons. We'll need a quarter cup of lemon juice total. Finish the prep work by mincing one quarter cup of fresh herbs. Today I'm using cilantro. To make the marinade, mix together a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of lemon juice, one tablespoon of garlic, half a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of the minced herbs and all the shallots. Now gently fold in the shrimp, cover and refrigerate for no more than 45 minutes. You don't want the acid from the lemon to start cooking the shrimp. And while the shrimp are marinating, let's take care of the rest. Grab the fattest, freshest asparagus you can find and peel the bottom skins. Start a pot of salted boiling water for the pasta. It usually takes eight to 10 minutes to get al dente, but we want it slightly undercooked. Now start the sauce with two tablespoons of olive oil and one tablespoon of garlic. Add one tablespoon of lemon juice, one and a half cups of fish or vegetable broth, one tablespoon of lemon zest, and a quarter cup of cream, although the cream is entirely optional, and then bring it all to a boil. When it's reduced by about half, the pasta should be ready to add to the skillet. I like using a heavy cast iron skillet because it retains the heat while I finish the dish. Sprinkle on a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, stir it all together, turn off the heat, cover, and set it aside. Time to fire up the grill pan, lightly coated with olive oil, add all of the asparagus, spray it lightly with olive oil, and cook until just tender. Now slice the asparagus into bite-sized pieces and add them to the warm skillet too. Final step, grill the shrimp about two minutes per side. I needed to do this in two batches, so there's plenty of space in the pan. See all those crispy brown bits? That's a lot of flavor, so we'll return all the shrimp to the pan and use the marinade to deglaze those tasty bits.
Now add all the shrimp to the skillet, toss it all together, sprinkle with a little bit more Parmesan cheese, and enjoy. <laughs>